<clears throat> hey guys. I just wanted to show that uh, this knife can spin on a sphere. It's going very slow, but now it's picking up speed. It, it may be magnetic to the earth, but if you think about it, that shouldn't be enough. I mean, the friction of this sphere and this knife should be way more. The other thing is that the handle, the both ends of this, um, there's a tolerance where it'll wind up Sometimes it's, it's perfectly this way, and then it'll rotate. And within a single session, even, um, this can happen. Now look at this. I, I did not push that handle. I just put my finger near it. So I believe this is um, the polarity of my body as, as my uh, chakras get stronger. So my goal is to turn this knife, but it's to keep it turning. In the beginning though, I mean, any movement, um, I just pushed it with my finger, but any movement at all is awesome. Now it seems to want to return. It'll pass through because of perhaps momentum. It'll pass through where it was and, and then it'll kind of rock back sometimes. And I haven't learned control of my chakras and control of polarity but this is, this is amazing to me. The first time I experienced this was on the counter over there, on the top of that counter. And I stopped playing with it because I had convinced myself that it was just earth magnetics and there was nothing I could do to change that. But you see how it's how it's now changed the angle. So as as time goes on and I get better at realizing what triggers because it's it's super easy, right? Like I just spin it and it just does it. I don't, I don't have to think about it, I don't have to, it just kind of moves on its own. There are other times when I'll spin it and it'll just stay in place, but then I'll bring my hand close and it'll start to, start to turn. So, I'm beginning to think that telekinesis is, it's not hard at all. The hardest thing is the combination of the letting go, the setting the intention, um, and then all the factors that have to balance in, a, in an exact proportion in order to make anything happen. Now see, see, it was facing this way, now it's facing this way. So if it were simply a matter of the earth magnetism, right? It should line up the same way every single time, but it doesn't. It does seem to pull back within a wide range, 
But even that has changed where like the handle will be facing this way. So I don't. Now look at that. See how it stopped right there? If I bring my hand close, I just honestly, I don't know what triggers it, okay? And you might want to try this yourselves. Um, perhaps it's a phenomenon that's, you know, may maybe it's something different than PK. Who knows? Different than telekinesis or PK. But it's... It's not something I've experienced in the past. Of course, I've never really balanced a knife on top of a sphere that's, that doesn't roll. Like, this whole setup is kind of unique. But, you know, it's just a napkin ring, dollar store. I don't even know where I got this. It's got some kind of design on the front here. I don't know if it's like a bird or what it is. Now the air just turned on, but the air wasn't even on. I think the heater was on. Not the heater, but like when the when the boiler is getting ready to turn the heater on, it it makes that noise. But this is this is truly just remarkable. It's remarkable how there's no effort involved. It just seems like when my magnetics line up a certain way, and I don't know what that way is, I'm not sensitive enough. Like sometimes I feel chi, right? I'll feel like a sponginess, especially when I'm outside. I'll, I'll feel, I feel different, different things. But look, look where it stopped. It stopped there. <clears throat> and that's totally, totally outside of the tolerance of here to here. So even this is uh, geomagnetics would not... And look at that, right? It hasn't moved from that spot. So I spun it to that spot, it hasn't moved. Is it possible that the polarity switched from blade to handle? I mean, possibly, but what caused that switch? I honestly feel that we're in the realm of super advanced science. I still think it's science. I just think it's super advanced. And, uh... <clears throat> I have no reason to lie to you guys. I mean, yeah, it'd be nice if, if I could get more subscribers and, and that could make me money in the long term, like this might go viral, that kind of thing. But if, if you go back, I always say, you, you'll know a person, you can, get, you can judge a person's character over time. So if you go back years and years and years and look at my posts from different things, Facebook, I think my lot is a place that I posted at, um, Twitter, um, at one time I had a MySpace, um, I was on Tumblr for a short time, very short time, um, I even did Pinterest, I think Pinterest. Um, so. And of course, YouTube, the comments that I've made on other people's YouTube channels. Um, Nextdoor.com, I've been on there. And the way that I post. This will give you a window into... In LinkedIn. Okay. This will give you a window as to my character. You can't fake your character over years and years and years. You slip, you'll slip up, okay? 
So if you just look through time, if you're really trying to see if I'm authentic or not, look to see if there's a trend, right? That, that continues like a string, like a thread, right? Like through the Bible, it's called the red thread of Jesus or whatever. I'm not saying I'm Jesus or anything. I'm just saying there is a thread that is continuous for the most part. You know, everybody does slip up every once in a while, you know, you tell white lies and stuff like that. Does my ass look fat in these jeans? Oh, oh no, honey, it doesn't, you know, but whatever. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about a person's like main character. And I, I've kind of waffled back and forth. Do I want to prove telekinesis or do I want to, or do I want, and do I want to prove my own, own authenticity or, or is it not important to me? And should I just do my own experiments and people who will believe it will believe it. And I feel like this time in history, look at that. So it returned to basically the same place. It's when I spun it, it's like when I initiated the spin with a physical movement where I touched it and spun it. Um, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Um, this is getting kind of long. <clears throat> Hopefully my, bit, my videos will get better than this, uh, meaning that I won't ramble on so much. Okay, that's it for this video. Like, subscribe, and share. Uh, comment down below. Thank you very much. Bye.